Welcome to the Bariatric and Metabolic Surgery Patients Information. Today we will talk about the post procedure. If we think about surgical help for obesity and metabolic disorders, we have to know that there are procedures with an extreme low risk and procedures on a higher risk, procedures that are low efficient and high efficient. So we should find your specific expectation and uh, desired high or low risk ratio profile. The more and more invasive procedures are, the more efficient, but on the other hand, higher on risk regarding complications and side effects. Today, I want to like to inform you about pose procedure. Let's ask this lady. She tried several times dietary achievements, but she wants to feel fuller faster. And in addition, she doesn't want to have surgery. And no temporary treatment, like balloon treatment. So post procedure stands for primary obesity surgery endoluminal. That will mean we reduce the volume of our stomach with an endoluminal, that is meaning with a gastroscopy treatment of one third of the volume of the stomach. The procedure, as you can see in this picture, will be performed on the full anesthesia, either in the operating room or in the endoscopy suite. A routine gastroscopy will be performed at the beginning and at the end of the procedure. We insufflate CO2, which disappears much faster than regular air, and the total procedure time is less than 40 minutes. This procedure can be performed as a day case, or you leave the hospital next morning. This video demonstrates how a post procedure will be performed. We insert our operating instruments, that's a disposable transport, in which a 5 mm endoscope will be inserted, and all the operating instruments like grasper and plication applicator will be achieved through this endoscope. So as you can see here, we perform big plications from inside, and those plications are permanent. They don't resorb and don't erode. And with this plication, we reduce the volume of the stomach as mentioned one third. What our studies could show that uh, compared to the conservative treatment, uh, we could achieve an average in our milepost multicenter European study. We could achieve a higher significant weight loss within one year. And in addition, we could also demonstrate that the volume you need to be or to feel full in the same way that you feel full before the procedure. You need only half of the volume of food to have the same feeling. So that is the mechanism how this procedure acts and works. In summary, we could demonstrate that the post procedure is a safe procedure. It achieves a permanent serosal food fusion. It achieves a high rate of patient satisfaction. It is a clinical significant weight loss to date. It improved also physiological response, such as satiety hormones, as the Spanish group could demonstrate. What we really need is a follow-up program. That information we got from our European multi multi-center study. 
we don't know about the long-term effect. We know that other surgical interventions and procedures are feasible and possible. And complications are very rare. Possible are bleeding, hematoma, and if you would study our patients' informed consent in www.obesityteam.com, postinformedconsent.pdf. If you are a really good candidate, you should ask yourself if you really want to change your lifestyle and you need a permanent assistant. You need an earlier satiety. Your expectation of weight loss is realistic and to know what is really realistic you must talk to the doctor and to the nutritionist. And you should be really willing to participate the follow-up and recommendation program. That means regular visit of the nutritionist. If you have any questions you could send it to the office at miller.co.at. We perform those procedures in Salzburg, Austria. The telephone number you can see on this slide. And we perform those procedures in Dubai, United Arab Emirates in MediClinic and in MacBody Clinic. So thank you for your interest and I'm looking forward to your questions.